Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'll be showing you how I created this page on my handshake name home.johnnywu. Uh, so to get started you just need a, a handshake name on uh, Namebase. So uh, in this video I'll be using jwu as the example. Um, a GitHub account and then a Vercel account that's connected to that GitHub account. Uh, and so uh, on Vercel we're going to hit import project, import template, a bunch of templates to play around with here but um, the one I use is the next.js one, the first one. Repository name, let's just call it example. Um, this is the repository on your GitHub. Uh, and then another project name for Vercel, so we can also call it example. Okay. So it usually takes about a minute or two to deploy, um, just for some context, in addition to providing some awesome templates to work with. Uh, Vercel will also be the host of our website. Uh, and so um, the the website that we're going to be creating is hosted on Vercel servers, um, which is going to be accessible through your handshake name. And something to look out, uh, look out for um, or to expect is you'll likely get a bunch of uh, configuration error emails from Vercel. Um, don't worry about these. Your, uh, your name works just fine. Um, I think Vercel just needs to change a few settings to not um, sp spam your email with uh, those configuration errors. Cool. So um, on our Vercel homepage, we're going to hit example, view domains, and then right here, it's just going to be, uh, we're just going to add a domain. It's going to be exactly the domain that uh, we want our website to live on. So in this case, let's say the subdomain is called example.jwu. Um, Reminder, jwu is the handshake top level domain that uh, I'm using in this example. Don't worry about this invalid configuration. We just want to copy this value right here. This is the IP address to Vercel servers. Add a new record in your name based name server DNS records, an A record, the subdomain. So once again, the subdomain is example on the top level domain jwu. So it will be accessible through example.jwu. Uh, and then the IP address we just copied, save. And, and now this, this should already be live. So uh, example.jwu, I suspect, should turn up. For context, I'm using link frame right now to resolve names, but this should work on uh, any other resolver. And boom, there it is. Uh, and so, of course, uh, we probably don't want welcome to next.js, um, something more personalized like welcome to Johnny Wu's handshake page um, or yourself. So uh, how I did that is uh, I went to GitHub. Uh, probably need to refresh this. Great, so I went to GitHub. I looked for the repository that I created, uh, went into pages, and I, I just edited it right here, uh, straight in GitHub. So um, editing this file, no. Um, you have the tab here, create next.js, um, change this to say uh, home, which uh, is right here. Uh, and then it was just mixing and matching, right? So like, welcome to next.js and documentation. Uh, I just hunted it in the code right here. Um, I, I don't come from a developer's background, so um, very limited HTML understanding. Uh, but I just came here, welcome to, so, you know, instead of this, welcome to Next.js, maybe I say welcome to my homepage. Uh, and the link I can link it to is, um, well, let's just link it to name base for now. Uh, and then documentation, right? So documentation and RAR, I'm like, what is that? Oh, it's this, like, symbol for the arrow. So I uh, learned that and... Um, how to represent an arrow in HTML. So we can just replace that with anything else. Like, uh, let's chat, uh, and so on. Cool. And once we have that set up, to commit the changes. Vercel takes about a couple minutes to uh, update, um, but once Vercel on, once it gets updated on Vercel's end, um, it should be live on your handshake name as well. And how you can keep track of that is, oops, go to example. And this yellow button, um, this yellow circle right here, uh, it, it'll let us know the status. So um, Vercel's still pending, they're still deploying this, and once once this turns, I think, green or something, uh, it, it'll be live. Great. Uh, and then just some final um, things like the fave icon, you'll notice I use this Chinese stamp for uh, Wu, my last name, um, and instead of Vercel's, uh, all I did there was just, uh, I think, went to, let's see, yeah. In public, I just replace this file with um, the stamp file. 
uh, favicon.ico. Um, in the index.js file, you'll see favicon.ico. So we've probably replaced this with something like my picture. Uh, and then you'll just want to upload my picture to uh, this folder. Yeah, so um, if you ever found yourself uh, watching me in this tutorial like, man, I, I could do a better job than that. I was like, well, wh why is he doing it that way? That's so inefficient. Uh, please, cr tr create a tutorial on how it should be properly done. Um, share your knowledge with the rest of the community and myself so uh, we can also benefit from that uh, and begin building some more beautiful websites uh, on Handshake. Um, this is meant to just be a very, very, very low level, bare bones, non-developer uh, introduction to uh, creating a website. But I'm um, definitely very looking forward to uh, seeing what the community creates uh, moving forward. Uh, and then pl please do share your creations uh, in the Namer community, uh, tweet it at us uh, at NamebaseHQ. Uh, and then uh, if you do create a tutorial uh, on how you built your own website, uh, we can add it into the Learning Center so uh, everybody else um, can also benefit from that knowledge. Great. Um, so looking forward to seeing what the community creates. Uh, but until then, happy naming.